Hi guys, it's Sarah and today I'm going to teach you how to create marginal starlight bracelet. This bracelet is an intermediate level bracelet and I, it is my original design. I did make this up last night so this is a fresh bracelet. So let's just get started with the materials needed for my starlight bracelet. The materials you will need are any type of loom because this loom will be set in the sagged configuration a hook, I'm using a blue mail tip hook, bands, today I'm using olive green, caramel, uh, pink, and dark green, same as this bracelet, but I'm going to switch around these colors as so the middle will still stay green, the border here, this uh, olive green will be caramel, and the inside will be pink and uh, olive green. And you also need a C-clip, if I haven't said that already. And another thing to say, this does fit my full wrist, so this bracelet is pretty cool. So I have a kind of, I have a really small wrist, and it fits my wrist without any extension except for one that holds all the bands together. So let's just get started with the Starlight Bracelet. To start, we're going to start uh, bleh, <laughs> the border. So what you're gonna do is I'm gonna get my caramel bands. Oh, hello, Dad. All right, so I'm just gonna restart that part, and <laughs> so you're gonna get your caramel bands. And we're gonna place the border. You're gonna start from the middle pin and go up to the right and left. So I'm gonna go to the up to the left, and then now we're gonna go up one side. You're gonna go from this left pin go to the middle and then from that middle pin go to the top it's going to go in out in out in out in then out so you can do that all the way up the loom and then when you finish, you're going to go in to there. So I'll be right back when I'm done that side. So I did finish, and the end would look like that. Now we're going to do the other side. I'm going to go just in, just the opposite side. It's going to keep going. I think I forgot to talk. It's just going to keep going. I'm almost done, so I'm not going to cut off or something. then go in. Alright, so this part is tricky. Um, even for me, I forgot it already because I've made this bracelet a few times already. So I have to think about it now. So just push all your bands down because we are putting quite a few layers on top. Okay? So, we are going to get the bracelet and we're going to start. So this is the starting point. So anyway, you're going to place a green there's going to be the bands that you see in the middle. Place one up. And then you're going to get two of your center color that is here. Which mine is going to be pink. And then go from that little pin down and down again. Right? So then after that, you're going to get your... Next color, which is mine's olive green. Okay, I remember this now. You're gonna go from this middle pin down, this middle pin down, one green down, and then two pinks, oops, one, uh, single bands, two going in. All right, so if you get that, what you're gonna do now, so you're gonna get more caramel, wait, not caramel, I mean, olive green, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna go out two sides, Put one green straight forward, and then pink in. It's 
gonna keep going. Two greens out, one dark green in, two pinks diagonally in. I'll show you one more time and then I'll cut the video ahead. All right, so we're gonna get two olive greens. Gonna go from the middle pin to the top left and then the top right. Push this down because we have a lot of layers there. Grab one of the middle bands, which is dark green for me. Go straight, oh, <laughs> straight forward. Grab two of your kind of pink colors that's here, and you're gonna go single bands like that. All right, so I'm going to cut ahead now quickly, so you guys, uh, so I won't be on camera for too long. So I am almost done. And then I'm going to get two of greens. If you hear that kind of shaving sound, I have my dad's doing something downstairs. I think he's... I don't know. I don't actually know. Sorry, I just have to grab a green out of my second case. And then you're not going to put the two pinks. Okay, you're going to get a cap band, which mine is going to be caramel. And turn your loom around. And then just... Oops, you're going to... Twist that band. Oh, he's vacuuming. <laughs> and then put it on. Oh, twist it. Pull it onto itself. And then put it on this pin. And then we're going to loop. So you can go into this pin right here in the cap band. And you're going to grab the first band, which is the dark green. Hold your cap band and go forward. Oops. After that, you can go into this pin. You're going to grab this green, it's right here, and pull it back to itself. And then this again, pull it back to itself. And then go back in, pull it up to itself. On the other side, pull it up to itself. You're going to go back in. Grab that green and go forward. Gonna grab that green and go back to itself. Go back in. My eyes hurt. And my arm hurts too. Okay, so if you haven't seen my recent Instagram post or if I'm uploading this late, I did get four needles today at school and I puked because I'm not good with needles and I had to go home. So I, I'm really sore right now, like my left, right arm. So if you hear me like complaining or groaning or moaning, that's my arm. Alright, <clears throat> so we're just going to keep going. Same process of, wait, one second, one second, one second. Pulling, okay, grabbing that green band. Pulling it forward, grab that green band, pull it back to itself, pull it back to itself, and then go back into that pin, grab the first pink, and pull it to itself, and then again on the other side, oops, oh, I'm just going to put that on, there, so I'm going to skip this video ahead until I finish looping the parts in the middle. <laughs> okay, so I did finish looping and I'll show you what the loom should look like. So I'm just gonna move this slowly up. Okay. So now we're gonna loop the border just a second. I have to open the blind because I just realized it's very bright outside. And I think I can maybe turn off the lamp. Yeah, that's nice, I guess. All right, anyway, you're gonna loop the border. So, we can get a, grab our hook, a very pretty hook. <laughs> and then go back, uh, go into the cat band, grab the caramel and go uh, over to itself. And go into that pin, grab that caramel, go over to itself. Go back in and do the single chain kind of stitch. Let's 
just gonna keep going just like that all the way up your loom and then on the other side too. So I kind of have created a bracelet, but I haven't posted on Instagram because I don't really think, I think some people have already created it. So it's just like a fishtail one side and an inverted fishtail the other. So I will be making a tutorial on that soon or like today. So we'll have, so this, I've had my YouTube channel for about a month, which is kind of funny and I already have quite a few videos. I'm very glad. So the last one just goes to the middle, go back to the bottom, loop it to, over to self and just go with a single chain. So if I, if you are, okay, what's really funny is um, when I loop this, uh, to create this, I kept going by accident because I'm so used to going borders forward, so I kept looping forward. But then I saw this, I was like, wait, what did I do wrong? So then I kind of messed up on the bracelet after I took it off the loom with, yeah, it didn't look very good. <laughs> so I'm just going to, oop, a bunch of bands came off. Looming is not good because of my arm. Oh my goodness, this is left hand. Oh my goodness. Anyway, uh, please leave a comment down below if you want me to do a Q&A video. We'll probably will do one. Because I have some good answers, I think. Probably. Nope. 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 Not at all. So I'm just almost done. Don't mind these coming off. It doesn't really matter because we're about to take the bracelet off. Oh my goodness. I have the song Women Eyes are stuck in my head. Alright, so I'm last band. Oh, I'm sweating now. Oh, I was just freezing cold like five minutes ago. Now I'm just sweating like crazy. So I'm just going to grab a caramel band. And we are going to take the bracelet off. Sorry. Oh, that's ponytail. Um, I'm going to put my hook through. Pull a caramel band through that where you will blah, blah. <laughs> Then we're gonna take this bracelet off. This bracelet is hard to take off, so well pretty easy actually, but just really be careful. So the bracelet did not end up just like the other one because caramel and me are not very good friends. Yesterday I have tried to create about five bracelets with caramel borders and all of them. So anyway, this was the bracelet. Um, oh, here's the side. It's just that. Okay, one second. I need a C clip. It's gonna attach your C clip if it's big enough for your wrist, like it is for me. Okay, so I'm gonna attach it onto the cat band. So as you can see, one. This is giant right here. You're gonna turn it around, and you're gonna pull it so it's even. So you're just gonna do that on every kind of band. So I have really nothing else better to do. So I'm just going to keep doing that on this side. Oops. So you're just going to keep doing that because I will do that off camera. And I will post this on Instagram when the tutorial is done, which is... If you're watching this right now, it's already posted. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my tutorial on my Starlight Bracelet. Please give this video a big thumbs up. I was about to go like that. Peace. A big thumbs up if you like this bracelet. Um, comment down below for more tutorials. And leave another comment down below for tips for, my, for tutorials. Go away, Hook. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!